This is Johan Gamble. We're back playing, um, uh, crap, uh, Xenoblade Chronicles. Last time we were doing some side missions, we helped Colony 6 get a little back on its feet, and I'm just going ahead and filling this out because I meant to do it before. Oh, no, I'm not going to do that because we need Ash Foxes. That's what I'm collecting for that one person. Debuff, and then got to keep the mushrooms because we're using that too. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and head over to the boss. The Dino Beast, as the Nippons call it. So we're gonna go head over there real quick. Yeah. Anyways, I'm just using Shulk, Melia, and Ricky because this fight. Y you probably want to use Melia for this fight. Uh, definitely want to use Shulk. Um, you can use whoever else you want to use for anything else. Oh, good. Now the Kelp Mushroom just need two more, and then I'm good. Nice. All right. Oh, whoa! Dinosaur! 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 Crap! 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 Hide! 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 Don't hurt me. That dinosaur's violent. He'll he'll attack you if he sees you, so yeah. Ooh, and there is something over there. Oh, that's for the um that's for the one in the missions with the flower things. We will do that another time. We'll deal with that mission a little later. We don't need to deal with it right now. Look at those crystals on the tree. Ooh. Whoa, that place looks kinda gray over there. If you look closely, it looks kind of great. Oh, got to get up real quick. Got to shut my office gate door thing. I don't know. It looks kind of like a gate, but it looks kind of like a door. It's weird. I don't understand it. Oh, man, there was a collectible over there. It could have been another kelp mushroom. What is this? Ricky never see before. Is this not Ricky's Machna? Ricky never see before. To think it has caused this much damage. What do you mean? Are you telling me the Telethia did this? Telethia absorb and drain the surrounding area of all its ether. That's it. The Telethia is sucking up all the ether which is causing the natural environment to change. Shulk, the Telethia can read your mind. Expect it to know what you will do before you do it. I know. I'll aim for its antenna and stop its ability to read my thoughts. With the Monado at our side. It doesn't stand a chance. It's much more powerful than its offspring. Do not expect it to fall so easily. I won't. But we have to trust in the Monado. Shulk has only met Telethia once, and they were merely the spawn. So why is he so sure of himself? Is he confident, or a trust in something? Yes, it is trust. He trusts in the power of that sword. What did he say it was called? The Monado. I see. Vengeance, my brethren, and fulfill my duty. Shulk, I will track it and cease its movement. Strike when the time is right. Melia. <sighs> Be still. Oh yeah, she's nifty with that stuff. I knew it. She can control ether energy without using catalysts or rifle shells. I've heard that such people exist. But I never thought she would be one. Shulk, right, Shala. Protect Melia at all costs. On it. Right. Ah! Alright, here we go. Against the Telethia. Now Melia has learned a new ability, Mind Blast, which is basically the same thing as Shulk's um uh surge ability, which you know gets rid of the ability for it to read its mu for it to read minds. Oop, and Ricky has force toppled it. Nice job. So yeah, this thing's not too bad. Um, you just gotta be a little bit careful since he can read your mind though. Since he's not doing it right now it seems, but he should eventually. I know he does. He's really just not doing it. For whatever reason, he doesn't want to. Oh, there it goes. Soul read. 
Yep, now my ability is going to miss. Oh, but she already stopped it for us. She went ahead and got rid of its soul read for us. Very nice. Alright, just keep attacking him. Oh, hello. Just got to keep striking. Yeah, he's not that tough, though. His weird feet. But, for, but this fight gave me a lot of trouble because I didn't realize... I didn't have, I didn't understand how Battle Soul worked, and I didn't understand that I needed to use Purge on it, so I kept losing a lot. But it's really simple, though. It's really not that difficult. That's all you need to do. I was being stupid. Okay. Let's see if I can hit it from the side, make it lose some defense. Nice. Super Aurora. Super Aura, not Aurora. Regenerative power is too much. It is all right, Shulk. Destroying the Telethia is beyond us. We should cut our losses and mourn those who perished. Never, Melia. The men you lost, I can tell they were dear to you. I know only too well that desire for revenge. And the crushing pain of losing those close to you. I can't stand by and let another person experience what I have. This monster is going down. I'll trap him with the Monado. Then the rest of you hit the Telethia with everything you have. Thank you. Ready? All right, Dino Beast, round two. Let's do this. Now let's reduce my aggro. Good, now let's lower his defense. Let's see if I can make him slow. Oh, well, he's resistant to slow. No, he's not. He got it. Nice. Telethia Exorb. Okay. Oh, good. He's on his side. Let's see if I can get behind him and hit him in the back. Nice job, Ricky. Oh, damn. He moved. Let's see if I can break him. No, nope, no break. Oh, he was resisting the break, not, not the. Um... You got this, Melia. Good, you're already using. Good job. Let's just keep hitting him. Thank you, Ricky. All right, now I can go ahead and get behind him. And go ahead and use backslash. Oh, activate. All right, let's lower his defense a bit. Why don't you go ahead and yeah, use whatever ability? Nice. Ooh, good damage. Good damage. You can go ahead and make him bleed. Nice. We got this guy surrounded. Oh, I'll heal Melia real quick. He's about to die. Let's go. Let's get some more slow on him. Yeah, you are not hard, Dino Beast. You are pretty damn easy. Ooh, I'm about to die, though. Oh, thank you. Good job. All right, come on. Oh, good. Oh, damn, I'm back. I'm choked binded. I can't make a move. Oh, he's getting health back. He's regenerative. Regenerative. Oh, look. Hold on, I'll be right back, sorry. Okay, I'm back, sorry about that. I just had to go deal with something real quick. Anyways, let's go ahead and just finish this guy off. So I can... I'll probably have to end the episode right after we beat him. Or so, because I got some other stuff that just kind of came up. So I just got to get ahead and de defeat this Telethia real quick. But we're getting there. He's pretty... He's not that difficult at all. We are owning him. You know, as long as you're at a pretty decent level... And I suggest you bring Melia because she has that really useful ability, that soul, that whatever it's called, mind break. I don't know what it's called, but it works pretty well. 
and it gets rid of him pretty quickly. His either cannon is kind of annoying. Alright. There was defense again. Oh, wait a minute, he just healed up again. Oh, it's re he keeps regenerating his health. What the hell? I don't like that. Stop regenerating your health. It's annoying. Let's go ahead, back attack. Can you use your mind thing? Uh, nope. Cannot do that until he is all until it is all the way up there. Until our talent thing's all the way filled up. Yeah, with that, that will probably um, stop him from healing himself. So that'll be good. We gotta. Hopefully, she fills up her gauge faster so that we can. Well, actually, can we use the soul thing on it? Will that work? Oh, yeah, that, that'll do that, too. That'll get rid of the... I think that should get rid of it. Does it? Yes, it does. Good. So now he cannot heal himself. Okay. Yeah, that probably helps, because now that he can't heal himself, we should kill him. I, I did not know he actually did that. At least he used that ability, and that get a, quite a huge chunk of our, of our talent ability back. Talent art, I mean. Alright. Stop doing that move, it's annoying. Shadow Eye. Oh, stuck, can't move. Okay, good, he turned. Do that. Hit him with slow. Alright, get behind him. And hit him with the back tech, bam! Alright. Hit him with the stream edge. Let's see if I can get back on the side. Nice, oop, got another link attack, let's do this. Alright, another side attack since it. It's up to you! This decent damage. Alright. Oh man, she only had the water one. That's kind of a bummer. Let's poison him real quick. That will help in the long run. Him getting poison damage. Alright. Come on. We are getting there. We are certainly getting there. Oh, you're gonna die. You're almost dead, Dino Beast. I like the name for him. I like calling him Dino Beast and Telethia. Oh no, it just seems to fit better. Okay, that, that attack really is annoying looking. Alright. Now, I don't know if I mentioned this, but when, um... Melia has that colorful rainbow around her when her talent art is completely filled, her, um, element attacks will do more damage than before. So you, you don't necessarily want her to use her um, mind ability because it will take away all of her um, talent art, which is making her attacks do way more damage than normal. So, you know, that's a little, you know, tip for your tat. Save Ricky! It's funny, Ricky's like the class clown in the cutscenes, but in battle, he destroys enemies. Brilliant thinking. Even though the Telethia can absorb large amounts of ether energy and regenerate at an incredible rate, absorbing so much energy caused it to implode. Who would have thought? Brute force wins again. Nothing like an old-fashioned scrap. Dixon would have been dumb. Dumb bad Bruce Force always think wins. Of. Thinking is for wusses. Don't listen to Dunban. Soon you and that Monado will be unstoppable. I love like your hat, Rick, uh, not Ricky, Ryan. Natural. Instinctive. The Monado responded to me, and I harnessed a new power. You'll get your chance, Shulk. We'll turn that face mech on into scrap. I know. That's what keeps me going. Oh God. Garin. Damiel Eisel. Are you there? I did it. It's dead. Did you see? I thank you for your aid in my cause. Justice has been served. You're welcome. Besides, 
It was mostly you. Dino Beast! Here upon Ricky, ready for round two! Hey! hey. A fight over already? No, oh, Ricky, not no! I'm afraid it's all finished. We couldn't have done it without you, brave little here upon. <laughs> Damn straight, we could have. Ricky's, Ricky's the brave. best. Ryan, also a little brave. Ricky, happy, happy! I think they take us back to Frontier Village for a little cutscene. Yep. Here upon Ricky, be proud! Here upon Ricky, tough guy! Here upon Ricky, bestest! Look at him. Barely hit a toe and he gets all the praise. We're talking about he poisoned <laughs> him and you freezing it. A few days ago, the villagers wouldn't give him the time of day. Besides, won't you miss him just a little bit? Chief Dunga, Ricky beat Dino Beast. Does Ricky still have debt? No, Ricky. Your debts are repaid. However, while you were gone, your little ponds ate like ravenous Oluga. It set Chief Dunga back quite a bit. No pawn of Frontier Village. A new prophecy has been told. Our hero born slayer of Dino Beast will further his legend by accompanying the Hom Hom on their travels and bringing peace to the lands of... That means Ricky gets to come with us, yes! Oh, Ricky never hear this! It was prophesied many years ago. You made that up. Chief lying! Chief make a prophecy <laughs> one minute ago! Oh, Ricky mad! Ricky! Go with <laughs> He just wants Ricky gone, like, Go, Ricky, just get your ass out of my village! I'm tired of you! is never wrong. Poor Ricky. Do not worry, Ricky. Your little puns will be taken care of. <laughs> Ricky's one busy man. Ricky's got 14 kids. 14! Dada Pon need food! Dada Pon need food now! Dada? Ricky, what on by honest is going on? I mean, Ricky's like 40 years old, I believe. Ricky, wifey Pon, and little Which is awesome for some reason. You have got to be joking. Wife and children. Ricky, how old are you? Ricky have 40 years. <laughs> oh, friends look puzzled. Not puzzled, just surprised. Ricky! Oka borrow monies for Little Pond's food. Chief Danga know best. Ricky must work for Little Pond's to have good life. I think Oka's his wife, but his, her mouth was not moving, like, at all. Okay, Oka. Ricky, She's a ventriloquist, Tom Hom. It happens. Mine happy too. Come on, Furball. Ryan, you got, like, giant blades coming out of your, your, your shoulder. That does not look healthy. Looks cool. But I don't know how healthy it is for you. Now you can return with your head held high, my dear. <laughs> Indeed. Thank you, Dunga. My thanks for your gracious help. Not at all. Peace has been restored to the Makna region. On behalf of all Nopon, thank you. Chief Dunga is very fond of Melia. Same Hom Hom, different world. Not fair if you ask me. Chief Dunga, will you kindly grant these Homs passage to Aerith Sea? It is my promise to them. Without question! These Hom Hom fought valiantly in aid of our village, and a request by you, my dear, cannot go unanswered. I shall inform the villagers at once. You are too kind. The chief has spoken. You should depart for Erith Sea at once. Prepare your things and see me when you are ready. Oh, we lost Melia. 
Um, but you know what though, I'm going to end the video here and I'm probably going to go collect some stuff for the Colony 6 in the next part. So this is me, I'm Gamble. Thanks for watching, see you next time as we continue to play more Xenoblade Chronicles in the next part. Okay, bye then!